one of the very best bangs for your buck that you can install basically on anything that started with a CVK carburetor. What we're talking about in specific is a GY6. This is by far the best bang for your buck for bolt-on performance, not going into the engine for your GY6. You're gonna get a ton of value out of this for performance. Let me explain. This is a CVK style carburetor. This is what comes stock in almost every GY6 125, 150, even the QMK 161 200 cc GY6 scooters. So, if you, if you, the way to identify that you have a CVK carburetor, which I know you do if it's stock, is the cable comes in from the side. Let me show you. Keep in mind that this is only 24 millimeters. When I open the throttle all the way up, see that? All the way open. If you notice, you can't see through it. That's a problem. That means when you give it full beans, you're waiting for this valve. This is the vacuum operated slide in the carburetor. So once you open the throttle all the way, this slide will slowly open. This carburetor is made for economy, not performance. That's why you need to upgrade to a PWK style carburetor. So now you've got the cable coming in from the top. Give it all the beans. This thing's in the way, so I can't open it all the way. Give it all the beans, like that. Let me grab something to open that. Give it all the beans. Now you've got all the fuel and air coming in through there. Remember I said that this is 24 millimeters. Well, we offer these in 26, 28, and 30. Keep in mind when you do a big bore kit, the intake manifold is 28 millimeters. So let's take that even further. Here on the floor, let me just pull over, just do this raw and dirty here. See that intake? That's only 24 millimeters. And it goes into this, this head that's got a bigger hole in there, a bigger intake. So if you come back up here, we include the intake. This is 28 millimeters. This is perfect. It's actually 27 and a half millimeters. This is our CNC intake manifold. This bolts right onto your head in place of what I just showed you down there. And it's a lot bigger, see? This thing just like kind of flops in there. So it's gonna come completely assembled like this. You get your throttle cable, you get your pod filter. Depending on the size of your engine, you're gonna choose what carburetor you're gonna get. So if you have a 125 or 150, we're gonna do a 26 millimeter carburetor. If you look here, we've got polished. This is what we call our pro. We have raw just a raw finish and black. So we, that's, that's what you're gonna choose. If you have a 125 or 150, you're gonna use a 26 millimeter carburetor. Now, if you have a 171, you're gonna do a 28 millimeter, or if you're at sea level, meaning your altitude is at, like at sea level, then you can do a 28 millimeter on a 150 cc. But we don't like to do that because we're, here in Colorado, we're a mile above sea level, so you wanna, you want to stick with the 26 millimeter on the 150s. We have a whole chart if you get confused on the website. And then the 30 millimeters, that's like 180 cc to 232. I'm gonna hand this over to Noah. He does all the assembly around here. What's up, people? So with these carburetors, you can either get them fully assembled as a complete kit, kind of like this one here, or you can buy the individual pieces. I'm gonna just go over real briefly how the assembly process works with these, just so you know. So it's really simple. We'll take our CNC intake manifold here. Let's see that sucker up close. Yeah, you want to take a look? Look at that sucker. What a thing. Five axis CNC. What a thing. Doesn't get any better than that. Then you look at that. The, instead of rubber, we've got silicone. So never dry rots or anything like that. Stainless steel hardware. Yes. Yes, indeed. And Viton O-ring, right? Yep. So doesn't Start. shrink with gas. Correct. Yeah, that just goes Fits on right in there. there. Little tech tip, put a little grease on there before you install it so it doesn't fall off. <laughs> That'll become annoying if you don't. So we'll go ahead and loosen this up and it'll fit right on here. This is a 26. Like Matt was saying, we have a lot of different sizes, a lot of different uh, 26 materials. Polished. 26 polished. Yep, we got them Fits in, right in on. raw, pro, and black. So we'll go ahead and fasten this guy up. We do this just to make life super, super easy for you guys so you can just install and go. You don't need to worry about what intake manifold to get for this carburetor, what filter fits the throat of the carb, all that stuff. Here we got our Performance Uni pod filter here. This fits right on the end perfectly. So we'll go ahead and snug that guy up as well. Made in the USA. Bam. 
More air in, more air out, more performance. So now we've got 27 and a half millimeter bore all the way through the entire carburetor and the intake where this is a 24 millimeter. Way, way better performance, better acceleration. Um, the other thing that we didn't talk about is we include jets. So these carbs are all pre-assembled with the jets for sea level. Of course, you can't get jetting right every single time. We get to try to get it close, but we install or we include all the uh, the jets that are that come with the carburetor, so you can jet it perfectly for your bike. Yes, indeed. All right. So the last step. This is the only part that's a little bit tricky. If you end up getting this separated and not completely put together. We this gotta, is where we come in and make life freaking easy. We got to take the top off here. This was probably what the hardest learning curve when you yeah you talk to you yeah. how to do these. Definitely, definitely. Especially when you explain how to do it too. It's always difficult to explain. But we'll go ahead and take all these components out here. We'll this take, is the slide and then the needle and the spring. And this is our PWK style cable, right? Yep. So this guy will go right through this little part here. Keep in mind, you don't have to worry about any of this stuff if you get it as a kit. Yep. Then we'll put this part here. We do it for you. And it even is a little bit tricky for me after assembling so many of these. Get it through here like this. And then you pinch this part back and put it into the slide like so. Make sure that is settled right in there. Bam. Into the slide like so. And bolts back in. This is what makes life super easy. Everything's ready to go. Looks just like this with the jets and the hardware. The hardware. There you go. Bam. And the best sound. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's how you know it's done right. Hold that sucker up. Let me see it. Yep. That okay, thing's. Check her good. out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you want to take it one step further, PWK, this is the best of the best you can do for a carburetor with the cable and everything. We do have an electronic fuel injection system. This is the bee's knees. This will automatically auto-tune your bike. You don't have to worry about jetting. Remember with the PWK, we have jets that are included. There is a little bit of fiddling and tuning that you have to do. Once you get it right, you're good. But the problem is with these carburetors is once the temperature outside changes, things like that, then you have to change your jets. Always changing a little bit. If you want to move into the, uh, the modern world, this is our Auto-tune fuel injection system for the GY6 150cc and 171cc. Three wires wires this up. It's 100% auto-tune, meaning turn the key, it adjusts for the atmospheric pressure, the temperature outside, the altitude, all the factors that you ever have to worry about with jetting, it's got you taken care of. So this is a cool little option as well. One little thing that you might wanna add to your order if you're doing this, this is a leveling clocking flange. This isn't always completely necessary. Let me show you why you would do that. So here is our old setup. So I pulled this off, put this carburetor in, you know, you're, you're good. Like that, it's actually not all the way pushed in, but you're good. This is traditional, okay? Now, I'm gonna open this guy up. We'll take this off. Well, while I have this off, let me show you the intake manifold. There's the stock one, there's ours. See that? More air in, more out, more air out, more performance. We gotta get rid of that sucker, the stock one. We don't want that. So, on this, to get these studs off, it's pretty easy. You just do two nuts on top of each other. Because this is what you're gonna wanna do if whenever you install one of our carburetors. Tighten it down on top of each other, loosen it. And then you gotta get the, this one off. It's a good trick. I like that. Trick of the trade. Okay, there's that one. Okay. You gotta get the other one off, just like that. And we gotta pop this little plastic piece off. Just take a screwdriver. I just popped this little plastic piece off. It was way harder than you would anticipate, but normally I just put it on there and pop it off. A little bit rough right there, so I need to clean it off with a razor blade. You can do that quick. Fresh razor blade without cutting my finger off. <laughs> Don't do that. Scrape away from the hole get it clean you want this stuff in the hole so if I grab a carburetor I go to put this on you notice now the bottom of the float bowl is all hitting and everything that's a problem we also include these the bolts for this it's 
instead of using our studs, that's why I took that out. So if we do a clocking flange, this is our clocking flange, leveling clocking flange. Let's drop that in there. Of course, this will screw into place. And if you notice, I can pivot it any way I want, just like that, once it's bolted in. And if you notice, I can bolt this on here, just like this. Everything's loose, so, but I'm just giving you an, uh, an idea. I can pivot this, see how this moves? Let me hold this in place. If this was bolted down like this, see I can move this around like that, which means when I bolt it up, I can pivot this carburetor any way I want, or I can flip it around like this. If I tried that without it, see how I'm hitting? There's another way. We've got this clocking flange, or an uh, intake spacer. That can go in there, and then you can just bolt it up like that. That's an option. If all you need is height, you can just buy the, the flange, or the uh, spacer, not the flange. Or you can double stack them. You can do the tall leveling clocking flange. This is a two-piece. So this is a useful tool if you're going to need the extra space. Everything's 27 and a half millimeter bore, just like everything, everything dials in perfectly. And we use a Viton O-ring. It's an X-ring, so notice it's a square. Fuel never warp it or swell it or anything like that. And these things last forever. They won't dry rot or crack like rubber. We have these available in this, this gold color, which we use with our EFI system, matches perfectly, or we have them in a raw. You just choose. All this stuff can be bought on the website. We got the PWK style carburetor, we got the EFI kit, we've got the clocking flange, we got the spacer. Appreciate you guys more than you know, and I'll see you in the next video.